Hello everybody, Brad the Guitologist here. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, Brad the Guitologist here. In this video we're going to take a look at this thing that was sent to me by a representative of banggood.com. This is a 4.3 inch portable digital video magnifier. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stick around. So I have this other microscope that I got from uh, banggood.com a while back and I've uh, demonstrated it on this channel uh, also and I'll put a link down in the description if you want to see that one and I've attached it to this uh, to this arm up here above my desk and I've been really happy with this thing. It, it does an excellent job. Um, magnifies really nicely um, and takes good videos to, in 1080p and that's kind of why I wanted this one but I wanted this one because uh, this is the sort of thing that is more like field worthy. So, I mean, you should be able to take this handheld device and hold it over whatever you want to magnify. And hopefully it'll do a good good enough job, a passable enough job that uh, um, I'll be able to use this in a lot of situations uh, where I would not be able to fit this thing, you know, because it's, well, right now it's tied to this. And normally it actually has a, uh, a little base that it sits on. Uh, so you have to kind of put things under the base, but this kind of frees you up where you can take it anywhere. Uh, to me, this was an intriguing little product, and we'll see how it kind of works out. Let's go ahead and open the box. Okay, this is my first opening of this box, so you guys will get to see it as I see it. And we have some instructions here. I'm sure those will come in handy here in a bit. Usually these sorts of things are pretty self-explanatory, though, so... But I will go ahead and go through it. So in case uh, you want to pause the video and read this, you can. So there's that. Uh, it looks like it comes with a uh, an adapter for European use. It has a uh, an adapter, but I think it also takes batteries. Yes, it does. All right, it has a lithium ion battery. So it doesn't take batteries, it takes battery. Okay, so that's a USB cable. That looks like a video cable. Uh, here is the actual camera right there, the lens. And it has uh, LED lights. You see one, two, three, four LEDs right here. Okay, getting started, load the battery. Please use the lithium battery. <laughs> the indicator LED light will turn to red when the battery is in charge. When the battery is finished charging, the batter indicator LED will be off. You can now use your magnifier for up to two hours of continuous use. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and charge it up. It's going to take a little while and we'll come back to this and see how we get along. Okay, I have it plugged into the wall and you can kind of see here the LED is flashing actually. I don't know if it said it was supposed to flash, but that's ex that's what it's doing. I guess that's what that means. This doesn't say anything about it flashing. So so we'll just let it do its thing. We'll let it run its course, let it charge up, and we'll come back to it and check it out. While we're waiting for that to charge, I was kind of looking at this. I thought this might have been a polishing cloth for the screen or possibly, you know, for the lens, but that's not what this is. This is a uh, carrying bag. And it has a really suede kind of feel to it, really uh, almost silky feel on the inside, so that should keep it nice and scratch free. Another thing I will note here is that this takes the micro SD card. If you order one of these from Banggood, you're probably going to want to order a micro SD card along with it. They have actually some pretty cheap ones. This one came from Banggood also, and it does work really well. I think this one was like 64 gig or something like or 32 gig. You know, it came with a little adapter too. But yeah, you're definitely going to want to get one of those if you don't already have one. Okay, so I came back this morning after about 8-10 hours of uh, this thing being plugged in. And the LED light was still blinking red on and off. So I opened up the back compartment and, um, well, first of all, I, plugged, I unplugged this and plugged it into my computer. And it came on and said welcome and then went right back off, which I presumed meant um, my computer was treating it as a, uh, I was trying to treat it as a camera. Um, but it was getting its power, obviously, at that point from the computer. So I um, plugged this back in and, and sure enough, the LED was still blinking, flashing red on and off. So I opened this up, the battery compartment, 
and kind of wiggled the battery around, uh, took it out, put it back in, kind of put, pressed it a little further in. And that seemed to have uh, cured it because at that point the light went solid red like it was supposed to and, the, and it went ahead and charged up. So now it works. But that was just a weird glitchy thing. It wasn't, I guess it wasn't making good contact with the battery. So the flashing red light probably means that there's a battery issue, like the battery's you know, dead or there's a faulty battery. But at this point, it does work. The word copies. Right there. And if I want to see even closer, I can press the... And this seems to be a digital zoom. And it just cycles. Um, so you've got 8.0, or you had 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and back to 6 times. But that's a digital zoom only. That's not. It's not like the camera uh, lens is moving. Another weird thing this thing can do is if you press this button, this will change the color scheme. So if you're more comfortable reading, I guess with the black background, it will swap the colors. Uh, it would change to like red, red and white, red on the background and white. So I mean, you can do several different kind of color schemes. I guess if your eyes don't like reading in certain colors. Just a, a weird feature, but I, you know, I guess it might be handy for some people. Oh, okay. So what you can do is you can get it, you can hit this button and pause it, and then you can pick it up and move it around, and it'll keep the same thing on the screen. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of curious though what it would look like with other things like uh, that's not print. Seems like the screen is pretty dark. Like there should be enough light to light this up where you can read that text, but you're not able to really read that text very well. And it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you. Because I mean, see, I can zoom in with this, this camera and I can read that just fine. I mean, you can read it, but it's not very bright. It just doesn't seem to have very good resolution or something. I don't know. Um, this is a very simple tool uh, that looks to me like it's mainly for reading. I was thinking this might be cool uh, in this sort of application if you needed to uh, look at a circuit board. You know, so if you're inspecting something like this, or you know, you can snap a snap a picture of it and sort of get it up where you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but the thing is, it just it just looks to me. I don't know if it's that the the LEDs on the bottom here are just not the right color or if the resolution on the camera is, is just not quite up to snuff. If I really want to inspect that right there, that resistor. Um, you know, it does a passable job. I, that's about all I can say for it. It's passable. I mean, that looks pretty good right there, but when you try to zoom in and, you know, it's digital zoom, once again, you notice the resolution kind of going downward so you get a little bit of blurriness but you know if there was a crack in this uh, uh, solder joint uh, solder joint or in the uh, trace or something like that you would be able to see that but you know is this better than say a uh, just a standard magnifying glass um, you know it doesn't it, it won't make it quite as large depends on the glass I suppose I think this thing just went off on its own. So if it sets idle for a little bit, it goes off. Yeah, I mean, it does a reasonable job. Uh, bottom line, uh, I would like for the screen to be a little bit better resolution. I would like for it to be adjustable brightness. It just kind of sucks that I can't adjust the brightness of the display. And I see no way to do that. So that's a, that's a downfall. Let's put a... Um, memory card in here. Oh, now I wonder, does this thing shoot video or is it just photos? Okay, this will only capture still images. Let's take a picture of R704. 
So if we juxtapose this screen image with the actual image that's saved onto the SD card, you can see a big difference in resolution there. So really the fault is obviously with the uh, display and not necessarily with the camera. Let's come over here. Okay, so who is this thing designed for? Uh, I would say definitely it's designed for the reader um, more than anyone else. These wacky kind of contrast options that this thing has really kind of points to it being uh, for text mainly. Um, I did find that it takes uh, nice resolution photographs. Um, you don't really have a way to change the aspect ratio or really much as far as any of that goes. It's just, it's all set for you. I also don't like the way that the, that you, you know, to get into a menu or to zoom or anything like that, you have to scroll all the way through all the options before it comes all the way back around to the start. So there's no way to like hit shift or something and go backwards through the menus. You can't do that. So that would be a nice option. Uh, this display is not great. Although the camera is, is okay, the display is not great, so um, it would be nice to have an upgraded screen. I like the idea of it having um, the photograph option and uh, that it's on micro SD, so you could take it out and you know dump it somewhere. Um, what I don't, and you can also hook USB, of course, and dump it that way too. And TV outs is good. But what I don't like is that you can't do video. It would have been nice to be able to do still photos and videos and it doesn't have video capability so uh, video would be nice as well so that would be one uh, suggested upgrade it's kind of a cool function that this has um, if you flip this little thing out it comes on uh, if you flip it down it'll go off so that's a cool function so if you're using it for a reader you know if you and you're in the dark you don't want to try to fiddle with the power necessarily just flip the thing down and it goes off uh, it'll also come on without that up so if you're trying to get extra close to something you know you can get kind of that that much closer to an object and that you know that can help a little bit it would be nice to have uh, auto adjusting contrast or something like that you know so if you're far away it would auto adjust um, I don't know maybe that's asking for too much for a device of this sort of price point but yeah you know overall I have to say I'm uh, I'm reasonably satisfied with this particularly since it was free to me um, would I pay the amount of money they're asking for one um, I don't think I would necessarily uh, I would want a better resolution screen for the type of thing I would want to use it for but that would be my suggestion to the manufacturer if you can upgrade those things I mentioned uh, that would make this a more versatile tool and this would be something that yes I would absolutely like to have on the bench uh, to look at you know objects um, and I'm sure I would use this at some point and the the tragedy of it is you know if it wasn't charged at the time that I wanted to use it I would probably just give up on that idea and use the one I already have of course if you don't already have another option you know then this would be a cheaper option certainly so I don't know for the right person uh, even if you're doing electronics I would say yes, you're going to be able to uh, get good still photos if you're unsure about something, if you want to see it closer. Um, and also, you know, it does reasonably well with the onboard screen, although that could be better. So anyway, yeah, there it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please uh, hit subscribe down below, hit the bell to receive all notifications. And for now, y'all take care.